Hi guys, um, really exciting time. This week, um, this week Meta launched a generative AI tools to the UK and to Canada, which is interesting because the US have had these tools for quite a while now in the desktop editor, just behind me. Um, but obviously over in the UK, we haven't had these. But finally, now we've got them as of a few days back, um, which is absolutely brilliant. I've had a chance to play with um, some of them. And yeah, I, I gotta be honest that they're pretty good. So we'll, we'll take a quick round trip through, through some of them um, very, very quickly. So when we open up the desktop editor, we um, simply, if we don't have a bar just, just here in this sort of section here, um, called Gen AI, and we have to turn it on via this button up here. The chances are the first time you load it up, it will already be there, but let's do that now. So, you can see all this amazing stuff in here, so we've got a whole lot of options available to us. Um, so we're going to try generating a 3D model first. Hey, why not? That's very exciting. And the 3D model generation is, it's okay. It's okay, you've got to be slightly specific with it. Um, and if you've used anything like um, Blender GPT or Mashi or, or Rodan, then you'll be familiar with with this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we can first of all, once we set that, we can say I'm going to choose a model site. So for example, I'm going to choose a medium model. And I'm going to say, um, a dancing squirrel with maracas and and let's see what happens if i hit the generate button on that just below it so you can see all these little buttons down here are actually for the different generative ais you've got the model you've got um i think that's a sky box that's a texture that is sound effect that is ambient audio and that is type script so today we're just going to cover the um we're going to cover the 3d models skyboxes and we'll have a look at one of the the audios as well um if it works that is the reason i'm not doing the image one is the last couple times i've tried to use it it hasn't worked for me so it's just sort of been spinning so i can't really show you that today i don't know if there's any issues with that um so right here we go so we now have some models so you can see it's given us a choice of a few and when these come up we can choose the one that we like the look of so that one you can see there's a few problems with his nose it's kind of brought in some extra islands for the looks of it that's not something that i really want so i'm gonna take a chance here on the top one i think so we'll take this one texture this model so i quit look yeah but we'll definitely take this one we'll hit the texture this model so that takes the 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 sort of the mesh that's generated and then it goes off and actually works out well okay if i'm gonna put a texture on this what would that look like so we just give it a few moments it's pretty fast on the whole of it like if you've used these sorts of technologies before uh they generally take you know, a little while depending how how busy they are brown but yeah this is this is generally quite fast i may speed up the video if it takes a bit long on this one but uh you see it sort of rocking on 20 30 percent already so that's good um yeah it's um but the, the mesh quality that i'm getting out of here honestly at the moment um yeah it's quite low quality i think you would use them right now for distant objects um rather than so like main structures i would still i would still stick to the main principles for structures um you know, model them in sort of your CAD packages or Blender or whatever. Um, and you, the, the colliders are on them. You can walk across them well enough, but it's like up close, they, they don't seem to look so good. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's an evolving technology and don't forget it's still in beta. So um, I'm sure this can be tweaked and will improve over time. So. All good. Ah, we're nearly here on 85%. Okay, so that's finished. So you can see we have a little picture of a squirrel. So let's see how that transpires now. So if I if I hit the save model, 
And again, I'm going to just go into my folders. I'm going to add a new folder and I'm going to say my generated meshes, okay? So I'll do that for now. A folder, I'll select that. And I'm going to hit save modern. And let's see if that actually adds this into this folder. I think it will, but that's uh, let's have a little look. So you can see that save thing is just ticking down here. Um, and we'll see where he appears. So this is actually adding the output, so the generated mesh, texture mesh, into your assets. Um, so when it's done, very, very short, you'll actually be able to see it in there, which is quite nice. Great, okay, so you can see it's actually, if I just move, move over side a sec, so, um, yeah, you can see it's actually added it down the bottom there, so it's wonderful. Um, okay, so let's let's pull that out and put it in the scene, so if we just click it and drag it just up here, let's see what happens, hey? So I'm just going to come down here, we can see I've got my squirrel with the maracas, so there we go. I honestly didn't plan to do a scroll with maracas before I started this video, but it's, it's incredibly cute. I do like that. So yeah, and just to reiterate, this is now available in the UK and Canada for the first time this week, which is wonderful. So go play. Um, the quality of the matches you get out will vary. And this is a pretty good one. I like this. It's in well, I know. <laughs> so you can see there are some sort of display bits, but yeah, generally good effort. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Um, cool. Right, let's uh, let's move on to and Skybox generation is pretty cool. So um, to do Skybox generation, there's this little cloud thing on the bottom here. So we hit that, and then we just have to describe it. So I'm gonna say like a uh, a fiery hellscape with um, dancing baboons. Uh, oh, I can't spell baboons apparently. Baboons. Okay, so if I just this might not come out well, but this, this see what happens, hey? So if I click on the <laughs> generate button, uh, um, let's see how this turns out, guys. Let's see how it turns out. So, um, just a, a mention here, look, you've actually got some variations here. Sky Dome, great for traditional sky boxes, featuring wide open reflected horizons and realistic rendering photorealistic photographic realism with good visual fidelity digitally illustrated concept art and digital painting open world pastel paintings of beautiful worlds begging to be explored an array bright interior japanese animation style and a cosmic cell shaded illustration style with clean lines and white colors now oh that's interesting so it can't do generations right now should we just say um a blue sky uh, with distant volcanoes. Okay, and yeah, we'll leave it as Sky Dome, which is the default. So let's see if that one works this time. Let's see, it's um, since launching this week, it's been very popular, and I find that, uh, yeah, like the, the texture generation hasn't worked for me just yet, and I hope that's going soon. Oh, very exciting. Okay, so I've just noticed the skybox has just finished, so I can click on this button here. And that shows me a little preview of what the skybox actually looks like, and that's, that's really pretty. It's just done a good job. Wow, and fit that up. It's amazing. Um, so if we're happy with that, we can save and apply the sky demo. So, push we go. So it's actually adding it to my assets in here. So I think that was uh, true. So I've actually got that sky down there. Great. So that's wonderful. So the last thing we'll do now, dudes, is we're going to have like a little look at sort of a uh, sound. And you've got the, the ambient sound as well, just to the right. So this is good to say, so like, yes, I want the sound of crickets in a desert or something. You can create like a 30 second loop all the way up to a uh, 120, that's a two minute clip. Uh, well, the sound effects, yeah, they're a bit short, so they got sort of 10 seconds. So I could probably do like a gunfire in here, so cannon 
player, you no, know, we'll, we'll stick with the theme actually. Full take, chamber, explode, explosion, eruption, eruption, let's go right. Moving <laughs> in distance. Okay, let me just generate that and see. It's a five second clip. Oh wow. So it shows us previous, so we can just pick the one that we want. So when you find the one that you like, you can just, uh, you know, hit save to asset library or just download from that one. So let's do save to asset library, just plonks it into your asset library in the chosen folder. So yeah, that's basically uh, where we're going to stop today, guys. But yeah, um, there's a lot in this Gen AI stuff and it is getting better all the time. Um, so do jump in and check it out. Uh, you know, right now, right now it's really great. And I think it's going to get even more interesting in the future where you can come in without having to worry about sourcing your resources from anywhere. And um, even with the sort of the texture generation as well, if you do want to sort of texture blocks and manually paste them. Uh, but yeah, what, what a great thing. What a great thing. If you just, if you can, if you can dream it, you can build it pretty much. Um, good stuff. Okay. Thank you everyone. I'm, uh, I'm actually in the video right there. So tune in next time. I'll do another one. See you. Bye-bye.